Good morning, or good afternoon. God bless you guys. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about Ecclesiastes 12 here. I want to share the scripture with you guys, and I want you to look at what God says here in his words here in Ecclesiastes. Let's look at this. It's 12, 9 through 14. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. The words of the, raw, words of the wise are as goads, and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. We need to fear God and keep his commandments. That sums up the Bible in its entirety. If you are going to fear God and keep his commandments, you're not going to sugarcoat the word. You're not going to teach contrary to what the word teaches. And you're not going to speak contrary to what the word teaches. And you are going to be the wise counsel to the lost. And you're going to be the one that shows them where the error lies. Regardless of flesh and feelings. Yes, that's going to goad you into pride. It's going to prick your very heart. It's going to change you by making you think. So when you live for God, it is fearing God and keeping his commandments and living for him 100%. Not this sugar-coated Christianity to fill a seat. God bless.